hate the haunts of men, but we had to come to town to get the mail. Now we're riding home, I fear the constant round of strife, and we ain't the breed for shying from a fray. Can't you war roof partners, dear, while the Easterns pay with fear, and the chaparral is trembling all around. We're the fiercest wolf prowling, and it's just our night for howling when we're riding up the hill from town. Hooper up my bow, coyotes, leather fists and leather throats, for oh, we wear the brand of Israel like a crown. We're the sons of desolation, we're the outlaws of creation, when we're riding up that rocky trail from town. My sister says my dad used to be a swell singer, too. You know, he died, and I never got a chance to hear him. Help yourself. <laughs> Go on, hit it. Hit it hard. Don't be afraid of hurting me. Both get a week in solitary for this. Halt!
the place we used to live, isn't it? Yeah. I wish I had a big gun. I'd go down there and clean those rascals cobs out. But, Bobby, what makes you say that? Oh, I ain't a baby no longer. I know all about it. Dad didn't just die. He died in prison. And those rascals cobs framed him. How did you know about that? The boys down at the jail talking about it. They didn't know I was listening. I'm just waiting until I get big so I can get even with them. Hey, kid. You'll get off of this ranch and stay off. We don't want you around here spying and going downtown and telling people lies that we're out here stealing cattle. Everybody knows you steal cattle. Uh, well, you big brute, leave him alone. What are you talking about? Hey, bull, cut that out. Now you two children get off this ranch and stay off. Jim Bullard. Hello, Dad. I can hardly believe my own eyes. I heard you had died in prison. You're the only man outside that knows I didn't. My cellmate died the night before we were transferred to the road gang. I switched numbers with him and got away with it. They don't know you've escaped. No. They'll be looking for Tex Raiden, and they'll never find him. Well, how about a cup of java, eh? Oh, that sounds great to me. Come on. You know, Dad, you're the only man I can trust. I never did believe you were guilty. I killed Raskob, all right, but it wasn't murder. Well, he had it coming, if I knew anything. I told the truth of that trial. I paid for that ranch, and then they robbed me of the deed before I could file it. That tale they told the jury sounded mighty queer to a lot of the boys. Fine. I'll call you. What have you got? You see him, a pair of tans. A pair of kings. Uh, mm. And a pair of aces. <laughs> I suppose you think that's funny, hey? Well, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Look, Rick, uh, what's the matter with you, Umbe? I can't add up with all that noise over there. Old man Lincoln claims he lost 40 head of young beef, didn't he? Yeah. Well, we only got 31. Who do you suppose got the rest of them? I don't know. Feel them out. I wonder where that last month's tally went to.
Well, I'll be doggone. Look at that. What is it? That's what Jim Bullard was looking for when he killed old Hank ten years ago. A grant deed. Hank Raskob to James Bullard, March the 6th, 1893. That ought not to be laying around here. Well, that can be easy fixed. Hey, wait a minute. Better keep this till I see my lawyer. Put it back where you found it. I'll need a horse and a gun and something to sleep on. Well, you can have my horse and gun and we'll knock a bunk together in no time. Fine. Well, have you seen my kids lately? Sure. Lindy's a grown woman and Bobby's going to school. Why, you won't know him when you see him. I'm not going to see him. Or Linda either. Until I can settle with the Raskovs. Well, what are you aiming to do? I'm aiming to get that ranch back for my kids, one way or the other. And I'll help you, Jim. Thanks. But I'm playing a lone hand in this. Well, this place is still yours. I'll move out any time you say. You don't have to do that. When I built this place, there was an old mine here. I took advantage of it and used it for a storeroom. Well, the thing I've been prospecting around here for ten years and didn't know that was there. <laughs> it runs back a thousand feet. There's a secret entrance. It comes out on top of the hill. Right back of here. that on the door. Warning. This ranch rightfully belongs to Linda and Robert Bullard. If not deeded to them in ten days, beware. Somebody must be crazy. Sounds like Jim Bullard. He died in the pen. Who's that? Old man Burns' horse, ain't it? Yeah.
Hey! Look at this. The time is up. Somebody just plumb nutty. I wonder if old man Lincoln knows we're stealing his stock. Well, naturally he's suspicious. But that fellow we chased yesterday wasn't Bob Lincoln. I'd sure like to know who it is. You ain't getting scared, are you? No. It's going to be mighty tough on strangers till I find out. Jim Bullard. That was a shot, wasn't it? It sure was. Beats me how he missed that number he's trail. Wonder if Burns knows anything about this. That was his horse we saw the last time. Let's go down and see him. boys. Seen any strangers lately, Dad? No. What's the new bunk for? Expecting company? Why, uh, yes. Uh, I mean, no, no.
Okay, okay. Give them anything they want. Hello there, Ralph. How are you? Why the celebration, Dave? I got a new job. Yeah? More dough? Certainly. Whereabouts? It's over at Loma Later. The sheriff sent for me. He's got a few wildcats over there he wants me to tame for him. <laughs> Shorty just got back from there today, and he tells me it's a pretty tough bunch of armories that hang around there. Oh, yeah? Well, you certainly are a little ray of sunshine, aren't you? Come on, drink up, and don't worry about me. All right, boys. So long. Oh, boy. Him all right. We'll wash him up quick. You hold them there. I'll sneak around behind them. You want to buy a horse? Well, I'd like to turn that one over my knee and spank him. Looks like a pretty big job for such a small knee. Boy, the air is certainly full of unsociability around here. Everybody wants to fight. Well, most people have sense enough to stay away from the box bee men. Stay away from them? I wasn't bothering them none. All I was doing was singing a little song at myself. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie. Now, is that any reason for shooting a fellow? Yes. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. But, you know, I thought for a minute they might have made a mistake. Well, I don't know why they shot at you, but I do know that they're the meanest, bloodthirstiest clan this side of the Rockies. Did you say clan? Yes. They came from the Ozarks. Well, they're all related. Sounds bad. Take my advice, cowboy. 
Keep on traveling. No, I'm sorry, miss. I got business in these here parts. You don't mind if I ride into town with you, do you? Suit yourself. No. There's nothing you can do for him now. Here. You better come outside. This is peculiar. No aces in this deck. Do you suppose those missing aces could have anything to do with... If I could find those aces, it might help me locate the men who did this job. Well, I wouldn't mix in if I were you. Why not? Well, ten to one, the Raskobs are at the bottom of this. And, well, if they are, they'll kill anyone who interferes. Time somebody taught those hombres a lesson. I'm going to talk this over with the sheriff. That won't do any good. Why won't it? Just won't. He's too old, and besides, he's afraid of them. Seems like those boys got everybody scared of them around here. They have. Uh, yes, yes. All right. Make it Wednesday. Wait a minute. Mrs. Appleby. Will you please get off the line? No use pretending you're not there. I can hear your asthma. Okay, Ben. Make it Wednesday. No, Bobby. Let's have another little game. Huh? And this time I'm going to, to beat you. Do I have to play checkers all day? Just because I'm a deputy? Well, you've got to develop your sense of strategy, son. A great help in dealing with criminals. Well, the old master's opening. Got a man on you that time, Sheriff. But I guess you got something up your sleeve. Bobby, uh, be a good lad and, and run across the street and, and get me some tobacco, huh? All right. Uh, uh, Granger, huh? Sure. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, keep the change. There wasn't any. That's right. It did go up a penny last month. But uh, get ready. I'm going to pull a scissor on you. <laughs> Was that man here? It, it must have been. Is that your move? Yeah. King me. I just left that opening to see if you take it. <laughs> you can find deputy. I understand you hired a new deputy. And you're accusing us of stealing cattle. Oh, everybody knows you brand every steer you see. Don't let him alone. He's only a kid. Well, you're no kid, Sheriff. And I'm going to teach you not to stir up trouble. Uh, 
ahead and draw if you feel lucky. Otherwise, unbuckle those belts and let them drop. I'm Danford. Looks like I reported for work just in time. What do you want me to do with him, Sheriff? Anybody want any more? Here, Sonny, give them their belt. I think we better lock these umbrees up, Sheriff. I think you better let them go. I'll explain later. All right, get gone. You won that pot, but you better keep that gun of yours oiled up. If you ever get up enough nerve to jump on anybody else except an old man, look me up. <laughs> Gee willikers, sure took water that time. You're a grand scrapper, mister. That was swell. You must have a grudge against those boys, Sonny. I should say I have. I'm just waiting to grow up so I can get even with them. What do you want to get even with them for? Ah, <laughs> oh, plenty. Say, do you want to earn a quarter? If you want me to do something for you, mister, I'll do it. But I don't want no money. <laughs> That's a good kid. Run down to the express office and see if my trunk's arrived yet, will you? All right. Lanford, I want to thank you. But I also want to warn you. I got plenty of warning when I saw old man Burns. Old man Burns? Good. He knows all about them. You mean he did? He's dead now. Dead? Why, are you sure? I'm sure. And another thing, Sheriff. As far as I'm concerned, those rascobs should be locked up. Mm. But you have to have proof. Absolute proof. And there isn't a man in town who will testify against him. Down if you want it. Thanks. You better get it patched up before it starts to rain. I should say not. Them bullet holes is what makes it good. You better put it away till you grow up to be a big man. I don't have to grow very much. That's my car, and you know it. I'm fed up with having my stock stolen. You're driving me into bankruptcy. Must be having some trouble with your eyesight, Zeke. I can see well enough to make out my brand on that cow. This time, I ain't going to trouble Sheriff Lane. I'm going straight to the Cattle Association.
Let him get off the ranch. Hey. I didn't know that Jim Bullard was dead. Ah. Uh, there's another one of those cards. It's that blasted deputy. That's more likely. What about the stock? Blast the stock. We ain't gonna stop till we get the man that killed Chalky and Mac. Where's that fella Dave? I don't know. Where is he? We want him. I don't know. You're lying. Charlie Bascom told us he left here an hour ago. Come on, tell us where he is. 
Come on, where is he? He was going up to Dad Burns' cabin a while ago. Oh. Give me the livery stables. Uh, Dave, send me a light surrey. Yes, sir. Uh, I've got to go somewhere. I'll hurry it up, will you? Put him down, Sheriff. Don't be alarmed. But I had a report that you were dead. Keep on thinking I'm dead until I tell you different. Here. The deed to my land the Rascob stole from me. I want you to file it in case anything happens to me. Oh, I see it now. You're the one. And they blame my deputy. They're gunning for him now, and your boy is with him. Get under cover, kid. You kid, you keep undercover where you're safe. <laughs> any favors for myself, but I want to get this kid out of here. I got him. You better let me tie it up. It's 
bleeding. That's not very bad. Hurry up. There. It's no go, Bobby. I'm going out. You can't go out there. They'll drill you the minute they see you. You see that box over there? Well, that's filled full of dynamite. And if one of those bullets ever hit it, we both go up in smoke. I don't care. I won't let you go out there. I'm sorry, pal. It's a miracle I haven't hit that box before this. Don't go, Dave. If you go, I'll go with you. Don't shoot. I'm here to help you. Where'd you come from? No time to explain. Get in here. There's a ladder in the third tunnel. It leads on the hillside right above here. Hurry. I'll hold them off till you get out. But, but, but what about you? Oh, get the boy out. I'll follow. Here's your hat, Dave. Great big boy, aren't you? <laughs> Go on. Get out. The kid likes you, doesn't he? Why, sure. Go on. Take care of the boy. That finished him. Stay here. He's done for, all right. It's Jim Bullard. Where's the other fellow?
I want to see your sister. Well, she's awful busy right now. Busy? Oh, Dave's in there with her. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, you take this. But don't lose it. It's very important. It's the deed to the Boxby Ranch. I had it recorded today in your name and your sister's. You can move in any time you like. Gee, that's swell. I suppose uh, Dave is going to be your new foreman, huh? Well, from what I just saw, it looks like he's going to be my new brother. You mean brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I'll have to find myself a new deputy. You better get two deputies, Sheriff. One to take Dave's place, and one to play checkers. <laughs> nice, Bobby. Hello, <laughs> Sheriff. Come along, boys, listen to my tale. Tell you all my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail. Come a tie, I yippee, come a tie, I yay. Tie, I yippee, yippee, yay. Ten dollar horse, three dollar saddle. Started out punching the longhorn cattle. Come a tie, I yippee, tie, I yay. Tie, I yippee, yippee, yay. 